think we're back. We good? We're good. All right. Cool. Sorry. I don't know why it just like totally dropped out there for for no reason. Just... All right. Oh wow, my clock is really far down. I'm sorry if I. Did this in the second their second main because if they pathed it, which I assumed they would, then we can flick a wisp it and get this thought not back in the end step. Oust. What does this do? Sorcery, Patarka creature on its own library. Second from the top. We probably just have to take this settle the wreckage. They have Cryptic Command or Teferi mana. How much are they getting hit for this next turn? Four, seven, nine, fourteen. So it's either the Cryptic Command or the Settle, and it's just the Settle. It's just the hardest to play around. Cryptic, they can tap down my dudes and stuff, but. I guess they can actually cryptic tap my dudes down now, but actually no, I'm gonna take the cryptic on the way back. I forgot I, I could just take another card, so I should take the cryptic now, just so they can't cryptic anything. But I don't think they will, because then I just get to snag the Teferi. This isn't my internet. Hopefully, this is just them. But if they just cryptic command here, I just cast whatever they bounce. Yeah, I just recast this Gideon. Now I just take their Teferi. Opt oust Teferi, sure. I'll get to that notification in a second. Just got a lot of stuff to do here. Four, seven, nine. Gotta actually play this game here. No point in playing this other vial. Um, Fish Jelly, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Wow, Miracle Terminus, that's infuriating. When you guys wrap up, come Lola Ravnica. We're on like game three, so we're not wrapping up anytime soon. At least they get kill their spell caller here. So they don't have pressure from my Gideon, they don't have a colonnade, right? Yep. So we just makes make a bunch of uh night allies, hope that carries carries me to victory. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Opture. Draw step thought not you. Oust and another oust. Annoying. I'll take one oust. Oh, 
I X'd out the manual link, but yeah, they have one. They have the thought knot. And they get to draw an unknown. So I can't just like plus this Gideon get in. Jace, alright, I can just kill Ooh. Brainstorm. Oh, that's so scary. If they find a path. They fired off two paths though. I think I just like have to take the the gamble here. Oh yeah, we found displacer, we're fine. Wow, they actually found the path too. Activate the Gideon for the for the night ally. They actually found the third path. That's that's pretty horrifying. Next level. <laughs> God, attacking into like snap settle is also really scary. Oh, they can't snap settle now. I have like three minutes to try and figure out if I want to lethal them or whatever. I can lethal them and still go for. Ooh, never mind. We're just gonna see if the coast is clear here. Sick. Got him, coach. Whew. Those are some good draws, I'm not gonna lie. But my opponent also has some good draws with, like, two very well-timed miracle- like, blind miracle terminuses, so... R and Jesus giveth and R and Jesus taketh away. Six O. -oh. No, we're definitely six two, but we are three O. Time to play against Time to play yeah, Q and a Ponza and then Mardu Pyro. Just like hate completely hate my life. What do we play today? Bant Spirits. What do we play round two? It's like already forgotten. Pawns into Lantern. Hey, you can beat Lantern. Lantern's like not a bad matchup. Kind of been skipping on our Artifact Hate recently though, because KCI is already like a really good matchup. Hardened Scales Affinity is a decent matchup. Normal Affinity has been on the downtick. It's like skimping on those Relic Warder slash Stony Silences and stuff. Round two was Weaponized Random. Oh yeah. Hearthstone. I forgot about that. Played enough. I played enough Hearthstone playing Legacy yesterday, getting fucking Hearthstone him to him to Tarakt out of the game. Still mad about that. Can you share your list? Um, yes. You can also, if you're on mobile, you can type exclamation point deck list, or if you're on desktop, you can click on that little purple thing down there. Yeah, that should all uh, do it. There we go. Did we cast Karn? No, we won the game with we, we we just like won the game with Karn in our hand. We we never put it into play. <laughs> Yeah, we, we boarded in once so far against Blue White, and we just demolished them game two with a Karn in our hand, just as, as backup. We did demolish our opponent with a Gideon game three, though, which is just, just actually demolished them through several board wipes. It was awfully convenient. This hand sucks. 
Oh, this isn't even a planes. Shit, this hand's unkeepable. <laughs> I thought this was a basic planes. Fuck. This hand also sucks, but... On a six... You'd probably win with a better five. This, this hand sucks, too. We're just like... Have like a five with a vial and a thalia. Yeah, like that. Yeah. That happens to me with a lot of, like, the sideboard cards. Humans? Oh, dear. Well, always not good, but with, like, Tidal of Strangler is pretty good. Look, it's the mirror opponent. Pay no attention to the basic planes. You, pl you play one of those, right? Maybe I just have the planes in my hand. Don't worry about it. It's a pretty innocuous start. Oh man, I'll just probably own an arm here. Because it's like still not even that good. Probably just like ghost courting myself for the black mana to turn three strangler plus scholar. What's else this one? Seven one with three Thalia, one big Thalia, two Bob. I've never been a big fan of uh, of Bob myself in in this deck. I think I actually do need to go score myself just to kill this champion before it gets out of hand. So just... Ooh, I can also just path it and just not gimp myself and just scholar path this. If you call her, you have to spell it. Yeah, I think that is accurate. I think you do have to spell it with two C's. Could just scholar path this, this block's here. Yeah, I like that. I don't like gimping myself for no reason. We're gonna sorcery speed this, I think. Just so they can't vial in something. Oh, this is a hand. Phantasmal image is, like, vaguely scary if they copy my Scholar, but I imagine they'll be copying Thalia's Lieutenant. I guess even if they copy Scholar, I just have two ways to deal with it. Mantis Rider's kind of annoying. They'll leave it on two if I take the Mantis Rider, though, and they'll just, like, put in Phantasmal Image, copy Lieutenant, pound my face in for a bunch. But then we get to path the big champ, untap, strangle this 3-3. Three, three. Alternatively, I could just take the Phantasmal image. My opponent vials in... No, I'd rather them have a Phantasmal image. It's easier to deal with than a Mantis Rider. Let's take the Mantis Rider. Also, we're attacking with the Stalia because we're not... We're got, sure as shit not blocking. They'll leave the vial on two. Phantasmal image, their Thalia's lieutenant. Deal. Um, they might actually be playing Meddling Mage here, in which case I should have pathed it. Path the champion, but. I could also, like, path the lieutenant, blow them out harder. Three. Oh, geez, another path, too. Live in the dream here. Just 
just wrangle this thing, get rid of that Mantis Rider. We just path this Lieutenant. Can we just stone rain them twice? I guess we can stone rain them once. They have a basic planes in their deck. But it also, if I stone rain them twice, it prevents me from casting with this path, because I have a Thalia in play. So now I can play him. Oh, the I get path and then double ghost quarter, but then I can't double ghost quarter because I'm paying two for the path. Also, the path's not even like finding a land if it targets this lieutenant because it just explodes because it's a phantasmal image. I like vaguely want to path this lieutenant. I think I do. None of the other cards in there any matter. This Dahlia is actually kind of annoying. But I don't want them to name Path here, so I think we just, like, snipe this. This Thalia means we actually can't attack with anything besides our Thalia, but they can't Thalia yet. They can only cast, like, Malcontents. Name's Thoughtnots here. Eh, I guess. I'll take this up to four if I ever draw one. Fuck. I probably need to go as core myself to cast this, right? Just to take something out of their hand while I still can. Just attack with everything. None of my creatures really matter. They could trade Malcontents for Wasteland Strangler, but I think we're just racing at this point. Ooh, actually, I should have played the score first, because they could have, like... What do they, what do they have here? Militia Bugler? Uh, this is actually probably... I should have cast this side hollow pre-combat, because now I can't, like, attack into this vial very safely. Yeah, that was dumb. They have two unknowns in hand, so they could very easily have, like, a three that isn't a Mantis Rider here. Besides this Kessig Malkin Dunce. I think it's probably worth playing around. Get bodied by, like, Big Thalia, but... Such is life. I have nothing. Deal. Um, I think we're just gonna ghost quarter my own ghost quarter at this point, right? Like, denying them lands isn't a huge... I guess it prevents them from actually casting their twos, right? I can just double ghost quarter. But it also prevents me from ever casting my two, or in the foreseeable future. I think I just want to cast Skuller here. Cut some off colors. Yeah. But, like, any other land they draw will be a rainbow land. Except for, like, Horizon Canopy. You're really into this double ghost core line, and I'm really not into this double ghost core line. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll... My threes are fine. Alright, we'll, we'll ghost core. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> what was what changed? Because <laughs> uh, it takes me off of like I can't cast any my black spells. I mean, we have a lot of yeah. Fuck it. We'll go. We'll we're three zero. We can afford to make some uh some loose plays. Activating events are just like never happening. So be nice to, like displace your thought on response there. Go score to them in their draw step. Maybe they'll draw the basic planes. They'll probably just like draw a cavern and cast the Thali and make me look like an idiot. We'll never draw another land. Skuller will rot in our hand and we'll lose. But what the? Did they actually like have the basic planes? God, that'd be so good. <laughs> This is much better as a double stone rain than a single stone rain, that's for sure. I'm still, like, pretty concerned about attacking in this. No, they definitely play two basics. Like, if they're playing basic island, they're guaranteed playing basic planes, because that's the first basic. I hope they drew it. 
Nice. Perfect tight hollow skull or mana. You know what? Gotta risk it. Risk it, get the biscuit and all that. Just, just shove. Wow, they're just taking all that damage? Really? Aggressive, but okay. I admire your moxie, opponent. Are we dead to anything? I mean, we're at 12, so we're not dead to anything yet. Now we can't attack through the Thalia very easily, but... Yeah, they took a lot of damage instead of, like, trading off, which I thought was kind of unusual. Oh, hey. Cast the Skuller. See if we can attack. Oh, wow. Yeah, this Phantasm Image seems pretty scary. They actually can't cast it. They can't cast the Melon Mage either, but this Phantasm Image on Kessig Malcontent seems horrifying. Um, so if we attack with everything, they get to eat a guy and then force a trade. So I'll rather just attack with Thalia. If they eventually trade, then we can just start alphaing. My life is a resource, yeah. I was taking that to the logical extreme. Yeah, force them to trade here is fine. I attack with everything, they go to one. But also we lose another creature for no reason. If they use Canopy, it's already risky, because they go into lethal of any of my creatures. Well, that's definitely... You know, they can cycle off the Canopy, deal. Attack me, do it. Try like Flicker Wisp or like Path, something, something to make this easy. We know one of the cards in my opponent's hand, so we should probably just go for Lethal. Uh, should we just attack? Probably. My opponent has a Militia Bugler, we just are going to lose this game. I think we just immediately lose if they have like any three to violin, because they get to. Kill the Skuller, untap Phantasm Mage, their Malcontents, demolish me. But one of their hands, one of the cards in their hand is Metal Mage. I think we just like go for lethal. We're not, we're not doing ourselves any favors just sitting here. We're already down two paths. So the only things we can draw that are like relevant are Flicker Wisps. We don't even have colorless sources to find Displacer. I guess more Strangler would be okay, but I think we're just shoving and crossing our fingers. They're at three. Oh, it's not lethal, is it? I thought they were. I was thinking they were at two. Because they tapped the canopy, but they tapped into cycle. So yeah, shoving seems a lot worse now that they're at three. Never mind. We'll continue to sit. Yeah, I guess I'll shove with this tight hollow specifically. 